In this tutorial, we're going to pick right up where we left off with plotting. We started off with this simple plot example. I'm going to come down, I'm going to start a new section, and I'm going to copy this entire piece of information. So let's actually paste it right there. Now, here we are going to plot multiple observed data sets in the same plotting space. Now, it's important to note that we are using specific words to denote specific things. When we run this, we have a figure window that opened, figure one, but we have a plotting space. This is the white space right here. I want to plot more than one data set, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. So we're going to call this method one. Now, I have to have more than just Y, so we're just going to call this Y1, and then we'll say Y2. So I have to define Y2. Let's just use, again, five random points. We'll say uh, 1, 3, 9, 4, and 2. I want them to be significantly different, or at least sufficiently different from Y1. I have my plot, and I have my formatting information, so I'm going to move my formatting information down the page. I'm also going to plot this information, but I also want to use a separate plot command, and I want to say plot uh, x comma y2, which means I'd actually have to change this y to y1. Let's get rid of the excess parentheses. And again, we said help space plot in our last tutorial so that we learned, or so that we could see the different marker shapes that we can use. We're using circles right now. Those are pretty good. So let's go ahead and use X's for the next one. So X, we'll see how clear that is. That's not an X, that's a C. There we go. Uh, and now I'm going to run this. And now what I see is all I have is X's. In our last tutorial, I told you that when you initiate a plot command, MATLAB asks two sequential questions. The first question is, do I have a figure window open? When we execute this first plot command, after we have said close all, close all closes all open figures, we execute a plot command. MATLAB asks, do I have an open figure window? The answer to that question is no. So MATLAB opens a brand new figure and plots this information. Now when I execute the second plot command, MATLAB again has to ask the same two questions, but we didn't get to the second question the first time. So the first question is, do I have an open figure window? And the answer to that question is yes. And then MATLAB asks the second question. Have you told me to save the information in that window? And the answer to that is no. Therefore, MATLAB scraps these, the information that we plotted here and just uses that open figure and plots this space right here. So what we need to do is we need to come up with or add a command that tells MATLAB, hey, we want to save all this information. That is hold on. And now when I run this section, I have my first data set as circles and my second data set as X's. Now, we're going to do two more things. Number one, we're going to add a legend. We'll call this uh, sample set one and sample set two. Since we lack true context for what this is, we're just going to roll with it. I'm going to run this, and now I have a legend. And if the legend gets in the way, I can just move it around so that it's not obscuring any of my data points as we just were. And I can just click, hold, and move my legend around wherever I want it to be. Now, the second thing I want to show you is let's go ahead and put a third data set in here. So we're going to have plot y, I'm sorry, x, and y3. And we need a different marker shape, so let's go ahead and we'll use squares. So that's S. But I need Y3, so I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, Y3 equals, and uh, we'll start at a little high, 7. Oops. And then we'll come to uh, 2 and 5 and 1 and 6. So again, sufficiently different so that we can space them all out. Now, the reason I want to do this is the following. I and I execute my first plot command, I initiate my hold. I execute my second plot command, and then I execute my third plot command. I don't have to continue saying hold on. All I do is say hold on once. And that tells MATLAB no matter what we've done, no matter what we do, don't ever get rid of information until we terminate this hold. That is hold off. So now if I run this section, I have all three data sets, but my legend, while it's obscuring one point from sample set one, doesn't have the third uh, entry, so we're going to come back, and let's just go ahead and copy this, paste this, change sample set two to sample set three, run this section, and now I have a legend that includes sample sets one, two, and three, data points across all of them, 
X label, Y label, title, grid, and everything that a user would need or a reader would need to interpret the information in this plot. Now that's the first method. Okay. For the second method, we're going to take the first method. Let me provide myself a little more space. My command window is not as important right now. I'm going to copy this entire example. I'm going to come down. I'm going to paste it. And now instead of method one, this is method two. Now, we executed a plot command, and then we had to tell MATLAB to save all of the information in this window. Now we're not going to do that anymore, so I'm going to terminate, or I'm going to delete my plot. I'm sorry, my hold on and my hold off. And then I'm going to take these plots, and I'm going to get rid of them, the plot function at least. I'm going to get rid of the close parentheses at the end of all of them, and then I'm going to say comma. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to delete and delete. So now what I have is x, comma, y1, comma, the modifiers for that data set, comma, x, comma, y2, comma, the modifiers for that data set, comma, x, comma, y3, comma, s, and then close parentheses. And now when I run this, I get the exact same plot. So instead of over here when we said plot, hold, plot, plot, here we say plot, and we just have x, y, modifiers, x, y, modifiers, x, y, modifiers. This is two different ways to plot multiple observed data sets in the same plotting space. So next time we're going to talk about subplot, and then eventually we'll talk about plotting continuous functions, but until next time.